Okay, this video is going to tell you a little bit about um, lines of symmetry, and we're going to draw a few lines of symmetry on some of these shapes here. Um, so first of all, what is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is a line that can be drawn through the center of a shape, and when folded on that line, uh, the two parts are going to be exactly the same. So there are um, multiple lines of symmetry for one shape, uh, or some shapes may only have one line of symmetry. Some don't have any lines of symmetry at all, and I can show you some examples of those as well. Uh, but <coughs> I've found that the best way to um, check for lines of symmetry is to actually print this paper out and, and fold it on the lines that you draw. Um, because if they don't match up, if you see things hanging over, uh, then you know that your line is not a line of symmetry. And the first example I want to start with is going to be with the rectangle. And so I'm going to just draw some lines here. And since it has these nice purple dots, I know it's right in the center. And so we're going to draw one to here. And that's a line of symmetry. What, what you should see is this space, this rectangle, is the same as this rectangle over here. The other one I'm going to draw for you is here, from here to here. And then, <coughs> so what you should see, and if I take this out, Now you see two more rectangles, one up here, one here. Those two are exactly the same. When you fold them, uh, you would only see one of these pieces here. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to draw this other line back in again. So rectangles have two lines of symmetry. Sometimes we might think that it has four lines of symmetry because this line and also if I was to draw one like this these two parts right here let me get rid of this these two parts look look the same they're they're um, opposite they're they're right triangles. Um, the problem with these two is that when you do actually fold this over to here, they do not line up in a rectangle. Um, so <coughs> that's something to look out for. And that's something where I would, uh, if I were you, I would try to um, actually print something like this out and, and fold on a line like this. And you'll see that this point here will actually stick up somewhere around here. And so this this is not a line of symmetry for a rectangle, even though it, it may look like that. Um, so I'll put my original two back in. So we had one here, and we had one line of symmetry going straight across the shape. So those are the lines of symmetry for a rectangle. Now we have a square. Okay, a square is a rectangle, but a square is a little bit different since it has all four sides uh, being equal. Now, I'm hoping that mine is a perfect square, um, but if I draw these lines of symmetry in a square, these lines will match up. So this space, this triangle, right triangle space, will actually fold on top of that one. So a tri uh, square has four lines of symmetry, two diagonals, and then one up and down and one across. So there's four lines of symmetry in a square. Um, we're going to take a look at this rhombus here. And you should see one line right here. So these two spaces should look exactly the same. And one line here. So these two spaces up here to there should look exactly the same. So two lines of square uh, symmetry in a, in a rhombus. 
And then finally I have a triangle here, equilateral triangle. I'm going to draw a line of symmetry which would end up right here. And equilateral triangles actually have three. And then I have this arrow down here. So there's a line of symmetry there. You can see that my top is exactly the same as the bottom. They would look the same if they were folded down on each other. Um, but I, So this is an example of a shape that has only one line of symmetry. Um, I cannot draw a line through here because now my arrow doesn't match the side of my shape. I'll show you one more that's not a line of symmetry. Um, this kind of explosion looking shape. This does not have a line of symmetry. Nowhere on here if you fold it it'll, it won't be exactly the same on the other side. So um, this would be an example of a, sh a shape that does not have a line of symmetry. So hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Um, if you still have trouble trying to find lines of symmetry, be sure to check out the, uh, the presentation um, found on the website. And uh, hopefully this, this, uh, either one of those will help you with your assignments.